Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Bando. Um, I've just got a bit of a special tonight. I've obviously uploaded a um, war recap earlier, but I don't personally have the Eagle Artillery yet, um, but Mr. Dion has, so um, he gemmed it uh, when, when it first came out and got it straight on the table, and um, this is the first good replay he's had. Uh, I'm just going to show a defence from farming, so it's a good replay. It's only the level one, meant to do 250 per hit, and shock wave, shock wave damage is meant to be the AOE, so only a really small amount of um, splash damage, so it doesn't do a whole lot. But um, yeah, it loads with elixir. Got a shitload of hit points, 4,000. Let's have a look at uh, a level 3 inferno, looking at 2,100. So it's double the hit points of an inferno. And you see that dead zone, much like a mortar. See how you got the dead zone on the mortar? That's the dead zone on the Eagle Artillery. So you're going to need to be thinking about your base builds. Uh, I'm personally yet to build one for Town Hall 11. Uh, as mine's still building, I haven't gemmed it. So I haven't stressed about that for now. But let's have a look at what Dion's gone with. Uh, this is a bit of a anti-three-star by the looks of it. Base for him. Um, I don't think he's stressed about cups at the moment. He just enjoys farming up there. So... Um, as you see, the town hall's quite exposed up the top with the Dark Elixir. He does farm. You can see uh, uh, lots of golems and wizards on the table, so I think he farms with Go Wiz. So heavy on the Dark Elixir, which he doesn't need, and um, pretty good on the Elixir, which is always nice to hold on to. Good thing with a Go Wiz farm is it keeps you active with strats. It'll teach him how to use the, uh, the Warden, which he's got up to level 5. Teach me how to use that with that particular farm army and be useful for wars. But um, you see, just zoomed out, that's that's a large, large um, dead zone, so you need to be completely aware. Um, outside of that, we didn't get any more traps or anything like that. I would think that come uh, a month or two, as they sort of analyse it, there's going to be uh, more traps required. I think we should really be looking at another double, uh, another giant bomb I think another um, heat-seeking uh, balloon for defence. All these kinds of things need to come out through time. But we'll just have a look at this replay. <laughs> you can see there I love lightnings. Mascot, nothing more exciting than um, smashing out um, a couple of lightnings on someone's full drill. But that's beside the point. You see he's got a pretty good build there. Inferno separated, one on each hero. This guy is using a dragon army with a near, uh, a near Max King, only a level 1 um, Grand Warden, but the Max Queen. So let's have a look what he does. I think he's a Lightning Earthquaker, yeah. Hey. Get that volume down a bit. So that's just to soak up any traps there. It gets the one heat seek, it gets the one red loan. Now you see that firing, and that was firing at the hound. So in one of the replays they showed, it only got two, two fires off in the time. It's not doing huge amounts of damage. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's not, it shouldn't be something that absolutely kills it, which is good. You notice that it actually does keep shooting even after the unit's dead, um, once the things are in the air, so that little bit of splash can get what's left. So that's a half health dragon. It doesn't take off half life the dragon, so, yeah, I mean, if we're looking at 250 per hit, is that looking at... Uh, 750 but you notice there the first two missiles missed so it's three missiles now what's an interesting part of this is you see he tries to put down some archers to um, herd over there and because that eagle artillery is activated the old archer is going to cop it right in the face there we go so see the splash on that second archery put down didn't actually kill the archer. That does though. 
I oh, know, four wall breakers. How many make it? Just the two. So he's got a golem in his clan castle. That's to run for his heroes. So you do see very little damage to the king for the splash. Out comes Dion's Hound on defense. I love the uh, graphics of the crater on the ground afterwards. Queen's still got her ability. She pops it early. I don't, I, I don't know if it was targeting on then, if, if there was a hero on it or anything like that. I think he's probably preemptively hit that queen. So you see there, um, that's that's the first replay I'm going to have an eagle defence on my uh, YouTube. I haven't been watching too much YouTube today. I've been um, trying to farm my ass off to uh, get my eagle, uh, sorry, get my grand warden up. So just got a level 7 on Bando 80 and level 2 on Clan Mascot. So, um, yeah, there's the first look from me. Um, pretty exciting shit. And, uh, yeah, clash on.